Hello everyone and welcome to Wine Wednesday. Now anyone who watches my streams over on Twitch knows that it's no surprise that this Wednesday's game is Back to the Future. Um, Back to the Future is a Windows game released by Telltale Games. I want to say it's Telltale. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, Yes, it is Telltale Games. I don't know why I had take two in my head then, which is a double T, I suppose. Anyway, Telltale Games, uh, Back to the Future, was released in 2010. So it's getting on a bit now. And uh, I've been meaning to play it forever. Like, literally since 2010, I've been like, I'll play that. But uh, I never got around to it. And then I was looking for something to play on stream. And I thought, hey, let's try it. Let's see if it works in wine. As it turns out, Back to the Future, the game, works rather well in wine. To the point where, like, it's it's a little bit it's a little bit silly how well it works in wine. Um, I don't want to do that. I want to go continue. Can I continue the game? Can I continue my game? Yay! Yeah, there's, there's a lot of running around. Um, wow. Okay, do, I'd really like to actually, like, you know, see the game. Oh, they're loading. There we go. It's fine. So... What this game does is it tells a whole new Back to the Future story, and it tells that entire story using the Telltale game engine, which is an engine that, well, let's face it, this game looks like it's from 2010. I'm not going to even try and defend its looks. It looks like a 2010 game. I don't want to do anything here because I know it's really close to the end. I don't want to give anyone any spoilers other than there's a thing on the floor. Proton pack. Let's say a proton pack. But yeah, it's uh, you get to talk to people. You get to interact with things. In fact, let's uh, let's go let's go new game. That might be a better way of doing it. Let's go new game. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of dialogue and dialogue tree choices. There's no way to die in the games. It's not particularly difficult, and the hint system in the game is really actually quite well done because it really gives you and it gives you a hint and a sense of All what right, you're I'm doing ready. without giving you too much away. To you. Like you feel I'm like you figure out yourself still, which I'm is really good. The, um, the voice acting is. More. It's good, morning, but I'm as I've progressed through the episodes, I found that it seems to be not the same quality. The first episode definitely has the most sort of attention paid to the voice on, detail, need, in my opinion, hey boy, at least. There. And there are some oh animation boy. issues, like in the dock. Dog. I don't know if you noticed, where he does this. Get your uh, seatbelt on. He does this a lot. This uh, like default pose. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, and that okay. dog's got a really pointy Please nose. So there are a lot, there are a few things that like, you know, are a little bit off with it. But it's from 2010, and genuinely, the storyline, I've played three episodes now on stream. And I kind of feel like I've played another Back to the Future movie. I kind of feel that's how good it is. It's kind of the plot-wise. It's just the... a silly Car. and interesting. And yeah, it's, it's yeah. really nailed the, the theme yeah. of the film. And uh, it actually works in it works in wine uh, to the point where, it, yeah, it might as well be native. I just hit play. That was it. There was, there was nothing. That I had to, no hoops to jump through. No caveats. It just worked flawless. Then I'm told all the Telltale games up until... They switched to DirectX 11 with the Batman game. So uh, at the moment, it's Batman and uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy that don't work in wine. Anything hour. before that point apparently just worked perfectly. Um, and I've tried, I've also tried the the Monkey Island game and Sun Max games. They both, they're the only ones I own. They work too. And I think Tales of the Borderlands works as well. I'm have to play that later as well. Um, but yeah, there you go. Whoosh. Um, and there you go. you got your normal dialogue tree so you can just go, where's the car? Yeah. Hey, 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 I thought he'd say something straight away, then he didn't. I'm just sitting here waiting for him to talk. But, uh, yeah, you can. It doesn't. Exactly it seems at this point that it's following the film exactly. It doesn't. It totally goes off on its own. This wakes up shortly after this a dream sequence, and then it takes on its whole fresh story that seems to take place after the films. Whereas anyone who's seen Back to the Future knows, spoilers, the DeLorean gets blown up at the end, but then it's back in this game. So there's kind of an inconsistency there, but it's not something worth worrying about because that car so, like, that car is Back to the Future. So I kind of don't really mind. They just lost. They're just like, let's just pretend it was fine. It's fine. But, uh, yeah, definitely interested. This dude who plays Marty, um, his, like, whole life, he must have been like, I sound like Michael J. Fox. Sooner or later, I'll be needed. Um, maybe that's what happens. But yeah, the first in the first game, there's definitely a lot more, in my opinion, a lot more depth and, and attention paid to the voice work. But the rest of the game, maybe I've just got used to it. Who knows? Maybe it's that. Yeah, that's the future. It works perfectly in wine, like perfectly. And I actually can't recommend it highly enough. Uh, it's currently priced at fourteen pound ninety nine. I have seen it go on sale for far less. I've seen. I'm sure I've seen the entire Telltale bundle for that price in a Steam sale. So I don't know if you want to uh, play it. Oh, each episode is a, just shy of three hours long, each episode, so they're fitting in perfectly with my streaming schedule. But uh, again, that depends on skill and how well you want to play. Like for me, 
I take my time over it. I interact with chat a lot, and I'm not really rushing to the end. Um, they've all been a, between two and three hours, though, so I've been happy enough for the length of them. They get six episodes. Is it five or six episodes? Let's have a look. Is it? Oh, I don't want to do that. It's uh, five episodes for for fourteen ninety nine. Like I said, I'm sure it. I'm sure it goes down to six ninety nine regularly. We'll have to check that. Anyway, that's the future. Wine Wednesday works. It's a Wine Wednesday win. Thanks for watching. I've been Hex. Bye.